Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on this boxes moving by NPC characters. So here is the demonstration. Uh, AI guys can move the bo oh, boxes and move them and place them in a given destination. So player can drop them anywhere like this. So AI guys have other random jobs as well like doing these exercises or sitting on that chair. So even if player just scatter the boxes, they will go to those boxes and pick them up and move to the correct location that they need to move it, which is that location that I has I have given them. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna work on today. Okay, now this is what we worked on yesterday. So I can go to this box and pick it up and move somewhere else. Uh, but the next thing I want to do is I want the AI characters also to pick up the box and move it to someplace else and drop it. That part is not implemented yet. So first to do that let me move the box somewhere over here and have a couple of boxes. Like this. Now AVI characters will also come and pick up because the probability is high. See, now it does but it doesn't know what to do with it so it just dropped in a while that's what happens right so let's implement a way to determine or guide the NPC character to move the box to somewhere else so here in this start interaction this is the pickup part, then player, then the character have to move. So since the NPC characters don't have any uh, commands to move, here let me get the character. So we need to check is player control. Oh, I have this. Is player. So I can use this interface method or I can I could use this is player controlled as well since this is a character reference we could use it. So yeah you can use either I have a branch if this is false we can tell the NPC character to move to some location. So we need to give a destination. And so to make this easier, I'll instead of using destination, I'll get actor location. So by that we will get the current location of the box and then let me rename this variable more of set if you want you can uh, wait wait no let's keep it as destination and move it there oh we should use spawn reference acceptance radius I'll say point let's say 50 And on success, we need to end interaction. That means the character should drop the object. On fail, I'd say that we need to tell the character to retry. Right, and oh, 
Hold on a second. So in NPC characters, this is how random work work works. So after it starts interaction in couple of seconds, it tries to end interaction and check if it actually ended the interaction. So instead of directly calling end interaction, I'll do something like this. Here we do have the end interaction. So I'll have a variable a boolean variable destination reached if it is true we can return true if it is false we can return false that means we haven't actually ended the work and then here on success i'll set destination reached to true by default this should be false and also after characters have moved the box finished moving the box it shouldn't anymore move it so how do we implement that Oh, we could use this is available of oh, eight is available is implemented like this okay wide not let me copy this it is not occupied and um not destination raised both conditions has to be true in order to this object to be available again for an npc or player to pick up okay now we need to set the destinations so this is the current location x Okay, I'll set a single value for x. Uh, the reason I did it is so that I can copy this location. This destination has to be public so I can edit it. Right, copy, paste, and instead of 700, I'll make it. I'll do the same for all other interactable boxes. Oh, sorry. I should edit this. Right. Now I think it should work. Let's see. Good. 
Yeah. It's working. Coming for another box. <laughs> Doing workouts. Okay, I guess he's coming for another box. Let me help with you. But well, player can drop it anywhere. So if I drop it over here, oh, I can't drop it. Ah, right. The reason is the reason I can't drop it is because here I did implement we can't end interaction unless the destination is reached. But we need to override that behavior for the player. So we can check. It is true. Oh, sorry. We have this character check. It should come earlier. Right. I should be able to drop it. So if I drop it somewhere over here, so AI character can identify. Oh wait, I picked up all three boxes. Uh -huh. Okay, the reason is they are they are interaction. These colliders are overlapping, so we need to prevent that. Either we have to make the collider non overlapping by making them smaller, or we can we should move the boxes apart. But yeah, you know how to do that. Let's move it over here. Another one over here. Yeah, making the yes job miserable. Yeah, still they can pick it up. No problem, see? Alright. Uh, I guess we can stop this episode right here. I just drop in it uh, closer to the destination, not exactly on the destination, but that's fine. So, yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you would like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.